Welcome back everybody. My name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're going to do a review of a 2021 Alpine Vans Summit. Last time we did the Mountaineer, this is the Summit which is diesel and four-wheel drive. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone, <laughs> thanks for watching. Abby's back. She had to pick the right day to come out. It's it's like kind of drizzly today, so uh, she's trying to keep the raindrops off of the uh, camera lens there. So let's get started. Abby, I know you missed the last one. I kind of did the, the video by myself because you had to work, but <laughs> here's the second one, and I am super stoked about this. It's a new company out of Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. It's called Alpine Vans LLC. Uh, they're a manufacturer. They're an upfitter for the Mercedes-Benz chassis. So the last one we did was a two liter four cylinder turbo gas engine. This one is a three liter turbo diesel engine. And it's a V6. It's also four wheel drive. So we're gonna take a look at the outside. We'll jump on the inside. All right. Let's do it. So Abby, this is like, it's kind of like our van. It's a 144 wheelbase, mm -hmm. the shorty, but it's four wheel drive. You can see how high that is, right? Yeah. Now the last one was the Mountaineer. The Mountaineer is kind of their entry level product. The Summit is their top product. Uh, and it's still an RV2, which is rear bed sleeping for two. This one, you get the upgraded step bars. Very nice, easy to get in and out of this. The four cylinder gas model was a little bit lower, so it was a little bit easier to get into. But this one, I think you definitely need that step bar to get into. Really nice gray color exterior. You have the sliding window in the slider door there, which is really nice. Mercedes-Benz alloy wheels. These are the Michelin LT245 75 R16s. And again, four wheel drive. So not really much on the outside of this van. This does have the Mercedes-Benz backup camera. And this is a 2500 series four x four Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. This is what wow. this van is all about. Nice. Tons of storage. Now they designed this to be kind of an off-grid adventure mobile. So you're gonna put your mountain bike, skis, snowboard, hiking equipment, camping equipment, whatever you want for your adventure weekend getaway. Um, they tried to design this to make it very simple and easy to use. There's a panel right here that's removable. Behind there, you have your, well actually, let me show you. This is just a pop it off. Behind there, you have your 3000 watt Renogy inverter, your two, uh, these are uh, lithium batteries, Battleborn, you have your Renogy uh, 12 volt to 12 volt solar and alternator charger for the batteries, and then you have a 110 breaker there for the outlet that runs off of the inverter, and Very all your cool. breakers and everything. So it made it really easy to get at all of your electrical right there. I'm gonna put this back up real quick. Very easy to put up. It's got four clips on it. it, just clips right back into place. So tons of space under here for all of your adventure stuff, whether it's rock climbing, uh, hiking, mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding. This thing is awesome. It's for anything. Scuba diving, whatever you want to do. <laughs> going to the beach, going to the mountains. Uh, the bed's right here. We'll get a better look at that when we get on the inside. And they got some nice cabinets up there. And uh, so we'll, let's finish up the outside. We'll jump on the inside. All right. Nothing really on the outside. This, this van is all solar and battery powered. It does have an inverter for the 110 outlet in there and the alternator will charge it. So there's no shore power, there's no generator or anything like that. It's all off-grid. All right, finishing up the outside, there is a 160 watt solar panel on the roof with two max air vents. You can put another 160 watt uh, solar, and then on the front you have your front view camera. Cool. So Abby, that's the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. All right, let's go. All right, Abby, come on in. Let's show them the inside of this awesome van. So. It, it doesn't just have the step bar here. There's also a step bar at the driver's door and at the passenger door as well. Okay. Get these sunglasses off. We don't need these. I'm not going to shut it because um, this is going to be really simple. So the let's start at the front and then we'll work our way back. This has the all new Mercedes Benz Sprinter chassis redesigned in 2019. This is a 2020 model, I believe, the chassis, but a 2021 Alpine uh, Vans build. 
Uh, it's got the really nice track pads on either side of the wheel. You got one right here and one over here. That's gonna control that dash and the, the right side's gonna control the big 10 inch screen in the middle. Um, this is gonna have all of your safety features, your lane keep, your adaptive cruise, the accident mitigation, sleepy driver, wind assist, all that stuff. Really, really cool features. Nice. Cup holders galore. I mean, I think you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then pocket uh, cup holders too. And this one does have the data ports and the wireless charging inside that little glove box there. Neat. So all loaded up. Very, very nice. These nice. are uh, swivel seats in the front. I do like that. You can just swivel these around. Now, this uh, lagoon table was meant to be either a desk here or it can be a dining table. And if you swivel both of those chairs around, everybody can eat here. That can go up and down and in and out. You can swivel that lagoon table anywhere you want. I like to keep it out of the way when we're not using it. So the really the only passenger seats are gonna be the front seats and this is for like a workstation when you're stopped. Very cool, very sharp. Got some storage up here with a handy basket to put stuff in. <laughs> one of the Max Air vents is here and the other one's in the back. Down here, this one looks like it could be a waste basket drawer but you can put whatever you want in there. Very nice. And then this one is your dry flush toilet. Now, in the Mountaineer, they only give you the one cassette. In this one, they give you several. There's one in the closet, one here, and I believe there's one in the toilet. Yeah, there's already one in there. So they're giving you three cassettes to start off with, and that'll last you quite a while. So that's your awesome dry flush toilet. All right, everybody, I'm gonna ask you for some help. My channel is about bringing you guys new product and also bringing your feedback back to the manufacturers so everybody can get better. So leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Here, hop on over to here and I'm gonna go towards the back. Um, you got your wardrobe right here and there's your other cassette. You got a hanging closet with a little shelf up there. And right below it, you have a refrigerator. Here we go. Refrigerator with like a, a freezer. Filing cabinet. Yeah, it's a refrigerator with a freezer there. Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. There we go, that's latched. Under here you have your fresh water and your gray catch basin. And then the water pump's right there, real easy to get at. And in, in this Summit version, they're giving you a little cooktop. Oh, cool. Very nice. This is your sink. We do have an extendable countertop right here, butcher block this is. Mm -hmm. There are options for the countertop. You can do this butcher block or they have a really nice uh, live edge uh, countertop that they're using. So this coach doesn't have a shower. However, if you get one of those little pop-up umbrella stalls, you can swivel this out, take a shower straight from your sink. <laughs> in a pinch, you yeah. know, this is this is a weekender, so it's not a live-in full-time. And if you do, you can always get a membership to Planet Fitness or one of the other national gym chains and take showers there. <laughs> uh, it does have a paper towel holder right here. You got a remote control for both of your Max Air covers right here. This 110 outlet works off of that inverter. You can go up to 3,000 watts with that. You have four USB charging ports, and then you got your light switch here with the dimmer switch on it. And next to that is just the switch to turn the inverter on for your 110 outlet. Now this does have a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector, as well as a fire extinguisher. And then you have a really big bed right here. Wow. It's like a queen bed. Does that now. go down? So it doesn't, and the reason that is, is because they want you to be able to have that nice big garage for oh, all of your sense. equipment yeah. that you're gonna put in So the how do you get up in there? Um, so there's a little foot stool right here. You step right onto that. Oh, okay. And climb up right in there. Oh, cool. Not bad. I can do that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the only other thing that they're gonna offer in here is they do have a different wood paneling for the ceiling and walls. They do have a different cabinetry and a different countertop. And then they'll change out the uh, the bed from being a north-south bed sleeping this way mm -hmm. to adding window flares on either side and you can sleep e east to west. Oh wow. So we haven't seen that flare system yet, but it's coming and it's going to be really neat. I'm excited about seeing that. So what do you think? I like it. It's pretty neat, right? I dig it. Yep. Yeah. So pretty cool for those people that want to do their, they don't need a full RV. They want to fit anywhere and still have a place to sleep and go to the bathroom and a refrigerator and, and be able still to cook. be mobile. Yeah. You got it. So that, everybody, is the 2021 Alpine Vans Summit RB2. 
If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe.